In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a piece of line art. Here's a materials list for you. You can pause the video if you need to. So the first thing that I did was I decided on the theme that I wanted in my artwork. Choosing a theme before you get started can be really helpful um, for giving you direction on color or shapes or how you want to place things. So I went with the sun and the moon and I'm mixing this peachy color for my sun elements with some red, some white, and some yellow. And then I'm mixing together a nice dark purple color for my moon elements with some blue and some red. Make lots of color when you're mixing your own color. So if you need to do touch-ups later, you have some left over. So the first thing that I'm doing is deciding on some simple shapes that I'm going to create in my artwork. These shapes could be anything that you want. You can even practice sketching them before you go right on your paper. Um, I'm creating just this sort of U shape that I'm going to fill in with a nice flat, even layer of paint. I don't really mind seeing brush strokes in my paint, so I just did one layer. But if you're not a brush stroke kind of person, you would let your first layer dry and then do another layer on top. And the more layers that you do, the less streaky brush stroke effect you'll see in the end. So if you wanted to put multiple shapes on your artwork, you could use the same shape multiple times, or you could put different shapes together. You can have them overlapping, you can have them separate. I wanted a symmetrical design, so I used the same shape twice. But if you're not so much into symmetry, you could use different shapes and place them around your paper. So I let this completely dry using hair dryer before I added in some other elements. I wanted some things that would show me the theme that I've chosen a little bit better. So I'm gonna do some sun rays just with some straight lines up in the sun section. And I'm going to do some little twinkly stars in the moon section. So when you're choosing your other elements, think about things that are related to the theme that you've chosen. And I just try to keep them simple as well. In terms of color, I'm just lightening the two colors that I have, so I'm just adding some white to my pink and some white to my purple, but you could choose completely different colors if you wanted. I'm just rolling the extra paint off of my smaller brushes. It helps me create smaller details a little bit more easily. So there we go, some sun rays and some twinkly stars. So let's talk about how to create some line art. So I printed this picture so that I could trace right over top of it with a Sharpie. But if you don't have a printer, you can do the same thing by tracing your computer monitor or you could freehand it if you're a little bit more brave. So the goal for me here is to not lift my pen off the page at all as I trace over this image. So if I kind of mess up one, I'll just kind of do another until I get a design that I like in the end, but I'm just not lifting my pen as I do it. So now that I have the two tracings and I like them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out. And I do this so that it's a little bit easier to place them on top of my painting that I have so far. I find the extra paper just sort of gets in the way. So I'm just figuring out the placement here. And once I'm happy, I'm going to use this graphite paper to transfer my drawing onto my painting. One side has graphite on it. When you place it face down and trace over it, using a little bit of pressure, it will um, transfer onto the painting that I'm making. Um, if you don't have graphite paper, you can do the exact same thing by scribbling a bunch of pencil onto the back of a piece of paper and it will do the exact same thing. So you could put graphite side down or pencil side down underneath your tracing. And then I'm just going to use a pen. It has a nice hard end to it, so I find I can put a little bit of pressure on it. Um, and I'm just going to trace over the Sharpie lines that I created by tracing over the picture. Mm -hmm. 
And I like to tape it down so that it doesn't slip or slide as I'm doing the tracing. So I'm going back in with my detail brush. Again, I like to always load up my brush and roll the extra paint away. It just really helps with small details. Um, but now I'm just going to trace over the lines that were transferred. And I'm just really gonna take my time. Do this really slowly in small sections. Um, you could also use a Sharpie or a marker to do this if you want really perfect lines. I kind of like the effect of a paintbrush and how it's a little bit uneven. So I chose to do black and white. I wanted my line art to really stand out off of my painting. So I chose black for the sun section because it was on a lighter colored background. And I chose to do white on the moon side. I thought it kind of went with the theme, but also helped it stand out. When you're choosing the colors for your own line art, you could go with similar colors that are in your design. Like say you were doing something with greens, you could just choose like a lighter or a darker green to do your line art. Um, but I like to go with black and white because it really stands out really well. So some of my white lines were a little bit too thick. So after I let it completely dry, I'm just touching it up with some of the leftover purple paint that I have. Kind of thinning out some of those white lines. So after you're through with any touch-ups, you have a finished line art piece. So if you liked this video, please leave me some comments and give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel to see the videos that I do in the future. If you make some of your own line art, head over to my Instagram and send me some pictures. I'd love to see what you've done. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Oh, mm -hmm.